Thank you, David. Now, later in the year, you'll see an option on your ballot to change a portion of the Kentucky Constitution. Now, Amendment 2 is just one of the many items that you'll see on the ballot this November. If passed, the amendment could bring changes to how Kentucky schools are funded. WBKO's Davis Wells caught up with the Kentucky Education Commissioner Robbie Fletcher about this measure. Kentucky Education Commissioner Robbie Fletcher was in Bowling Green yesterday presenting at the Kentucky Center for Leadership Executive Luncheon. Students and faculty asked a series of questions, including one about a measure on this November's ballot. Amendment 2, also known as school choice, would decide whether to allow state funding to go to students outside of public schools. Commissioner Fletcher made it clear his position on the proposed bill. But to be very clear, I'm opposed. I will vote no. But on the other hand, as a public servant, I have a duty to serve those if that's how the Commonwealth feels like we should go. And the reason for that is there's a lot of questions that need to be answered because with Amendment 2, it basically opens the gate. Fletcher says accountability issues are among the qualms he has about this measure. He says families around the state may not have as many choices as they think. Instead, those freedoms may be heading to the hands of private schools. And when we talk about school choice, is it really the parent's choice? Or is it the private school's choice of who they're going to accept? Uh, what does that mean for accountability of private schools? Uh, what does that mean for um, when you look at local funding, local tax dollars? What does that mean for local tax dollars? The school choice measure is just one of many issues expected to be on the ballot this November. This year's general election is scheduled for November 5th. Reporting in Warren County, Davis Wells, WBKO News.